In the present video, we're going to present the use of the Maxima plugin, beginning with how to load the plugin and how to connect Maxima. If you haven't loaded Maxima, uh, I invite you to go to video 5.10 in playlist number 5 in my channel. See the instruction for installing Ma uh, Maxima. Maxima is a free software specializing in uh, symbolic results with, for mathematics. Now, it tends to uh, install itself in the C drive. So if I look at my, this PC into C drive, I'm going to find Maxima, uh, and I have Maxima version 5.451, which I loaded only about two days ago. And within that Maxima, installation, you're going to find a bean binary folder, and then there's a Maxima bat, which is what gets the program started. And so for the purpose of using it with SMAS Studio, we're going to load the Maxima plugin from our tools plugins menu, and we're going to go here into online gallery. Scrolling down until we find the Maxima plugin. There it is, and we'll install it. Now, I need to activate one of the functions, so what I'm going to do is click down here. I'm going to write it a little bit off and click on my function button. Click down here and find the Maxima plugin. And let's, um, let's use one of the functions here. And the function that we're going to use is the dead function, the determinant function. Now I need to have a, a matrix to do that. So let me pause a little bit and create a matrix. I've created a matrix. You can create any matrix. I created a three by three. And I'm going to type the pick A here and say equal. But I say, hey, I cannot find a maxima bat. That's because I haven't used it yet. And so this option allows me to look for it. And it says, do you want to enter star search bat now? And I say yes. And then wait. Decide that again. Go for FX, Maxima plugin, and I'm going to get my debt A equal. Let's check back to Maxima under Insert Maxima Settings. And so we go to Insert Maxima Settings, and it produces this entry form. And what I have to go is go and select the directory. He has an older version there that is no longer available, so I'm going to select, go to my C drive. It actually opens down, down below there. There's a Maxima 5.41. There's Bean. I'm going to click right here. And that's, that's where it is located. So all I need is to point to that folder and say OK. And then it says Save and Restart. And it is starting Maxima there. And it says found. Okay, so now I had that error. I'm going to type again DTA equal, and it gives me 49. That means it's working. And so uh, I'm going to uh, list here a uh, another SMS Studio file where I have some of those functions available from um, the the Maxima plugin. In this worksheet, I've selected a few of the functions available uh, by using Maple. I'm sorry, by using Maxima. Uh, apologize, it's Maxima. And these are listed here in alphabetical order, but I'm not illustrating every function that's available there. If you can look at clicking here and clicking FX and clicking um, the Maxima plugin. I use alt this, I use determinant, I use differential, derivative, derivative, 
and derivative evaluated the point. I'm going to skip the graphics one right now. I'm going to skip the feet also. I'm going to go into the integrals. Integrals. Limit. I haven't done any limits, but I can I can illustrate one example here. It did use linear solve. This maxima, maxima define maxima control will be more advanced stuff, and we're going to talk about it in another um, situation. Uh, and Newton is a numerical solution of an equation using the Newton Raphson. For one equation or a list of equations, ODE2 is for ordinary differential equations. Solve to solve an equation, and some it can be used to calculate um, summations. So let's start with algebra. So to, to, to enter, oh, sorry about that. To enter this equation, you can type. I'm sorry, that expression you can type the name, or you can go and in, insert it from. The maxima plugin, Alsys insert, and then type in the matrix corresponding to a couple of equations. You could have two or three or whatever you need with the corresponding number of um, unknowns. Once you have set it up, do control dot. And it shows here that there are four possible sets of solutions all solving the system of two algebraic equations. What they mean by algebraic is that they are non uh, they are nonlinear, but they do not involve uh, sines, cosines, and so on. They're just algebraic stuff like products, squares, and so on. Calculating a determinant is very simple. You just create the matrix you need to calculate, then use depth with uppercase, use the equal sign, and it gives you the value. The derivative function diff, if you type diff with lowercase, you will be entering the um, SMAS Studio um, uh, the, the SMAS Studio function. You can calculate this by doing control dot, and it gives you the x two x. If you type here, uh, by the way, x is like the default derivative, or the, the default variable for derivation. If you type this x two and do control equal, it gives you the same result. This one, for example, you can also type in in SMS Studio by using diff lowercase, diff r times ln of r, space bar, space bar, comma, r, control dot. And if you use control dot here, you get exactly the same result. And a second derivative here would be diff parentheses sign of x, space bar, comma, x, space bar, 2, control dot. Give you minus sine of x, and you will get control of the same result. So this seems to be kind of redundant in SMS Studio, but these are not because SMS Studio cannot calculate uh, uh, indefinite integrals. So if I type int lowercase x square base bar one comma x, and I try control dot, I just get the same result. Whereas if I type that in in, uh, in SMS Studio, but invoking the the Maxima plugin, the control dot, it gives you the error. Okay. Here's one where if I type the same command in SMS Studio, it will give me the integral. This one can be calculated numerically, and the same thing will happen. If you do equal the equal sign in using the maxima plugin. Oh, I do have a limit here. I just haven't labeled it properly. But this would be limits. These are all useful in calculus because we don't have limits in um, um, it's mass studio, so this would be just doing control dot. Because you do the limit when x tends to one of x surface y is equal to two. And then you may even try more famous limits like the sine of x divided by x when x goes to zero. And that is the famous result equal to one. Linear solver. This one will solve the system of linear equations by making them less than, I mean, by making them equal to zero. So basically, this is equivalent to saying x plus y equals 34 and x minus y equals 15. If you use the equal sign here, I won't give you any result. Let's do control Z, control dot to give me my results. 
give you those results. And you can try with two or more equations. We're going to be doing more of that later on. In Newton, I try, I'm trying a very simple equation here. X squared minus 123.5 equals basically the square root of 123.5. This should be easy to find. You need to provide the equation, the variable you're solving for, and an initial value in the control dot, or the equal sign, actually. No. It'll be control dot. Control dot. And it gives you the result as a um, symbolic result. Then you can convert that and you take control copy. Control V and do the equal sign. It tells you the result is 11.11 11 pedigree. You could try another one. Another, I'm going to try another one here. M, Newton, and let's try x times ln of x minus 25 with minus 15. Control the equal 0x with so one, let's start with 1.5, and then this do control dot. Look, sorry, control dot. And it's not finding a solution. Maybe there's no number that's... Let me try another one. Actually, what I have here is a mistake. I had type an N instead of an M. Now let's try that. There's that result. Control copy, control D, control equals minus 6. Solving an ordinary differential equation. To type this differential equation, you can use diff parenthesis y comma t base bar minus y control dot control equal zero. And so you're saying I'm solving this differential equation so that the variable I'm solving for is y and the independent variable is t. And when you do control dot, you get that the solution is y equals c and e to the t. Uh, I'm going to make it more complicated and say equal to, I don't know, minus t. Let's see if we have a cross form solution for that one. Yes, you do. Minus n of t plus plus n of t minus 2c. Then you have a constant of integration. Function ODE2. There's no ODE1 or ODE that you can tell by looking at all plug-in functions. Sorry, uh, maximum plug-in. Uh, you look at ODE. Two, and that's the only one that it solves differential equations. So here I have a, a second order differential equation. How I type that differential equation? I did dip parenthesis x comma t comma two base bar plus two times x control equal minus of t. And then you're solving for x with the independent variable being t, do control dot. And you get this solution where k1 and k2 are integration constants. And you can then proceed to solve it for things there. Um, solving an equation, I tried this one. I mean, I, I, could, I can make it more complicated and say r square, uh, r square, uh, Two times r minus hundred and so it gives me two solutions, two possible solutions with the quadratic equation. Calculating a symbolic summation. If I type that sum one over k square plus big word comma a comma one comma infinity, infinity is available right here. That would be the summation that I'm trying to calculate right here. But uh, I cannot do a numerical sum. Neither control T here, neither a control dot. It won't give me any result in SMAS Studio, but uh, I think it's going to leave it there because that's what it's representing here. But if I go here, control dot, it tells me that it's equal to.